Hello everyone. Good afternoon. I know it's been a little while. I have had so much going on. I um, pretty much want to talk about God's favor today and being able to kind of hear God, not necessarily his voice audibly, but at least know what when it's him and when it's the devil, you know? I mean, I've had so much going on and we know why well, I kind of left off where we're trying to buy a house and this and that the house that I wanted it sold that's fine you know I mean it's a hurtful moment but then I'm like okay well that means there's something better so then I first I found something better but I've been having a hard time with my realtor okay so but it's really a hard time. Like, it's just we, our schedules never link up. She was sick one time. Then when I was ready to go see this house, um, she wasn't a bit. She was out of town, I'm assuming, for graduations. You know, all that, which is fine. It just wasn't wasn't meant to be. Um, and no, I haven't done my, my pre-call. We've been working on our credit. But we're still you know of course we've hit now we've hit that moment where it's time for us to kind of do it again because our lease is up and I don't want to renew so and of course now we're behind on car payments and um you know other unforeseeable things have popped up and that kind of deal so I'm like when are we going to get right because when we start headed in the right momentum and then something else happens and now here we are you know <laughs> like I don't want him to run our credit right now in this in this situation because I already know that the progress that we were making it was slow now because we're all past due and I mean things that were out of our control you know I, obviously we didn't wake up and be like oh well let's see how long we can get our car payments to go without paying them you know I mean that's not what happened so I don't even have my car right now. I'm in a rental because my car is still in the shop trying to be fixed. So I just kind of forgot about it to be honest with you. I just kind of was like, hmm, I don't think I paid my company, but I'm not in my car. So I forgot about it. So then of course now I'm playing catch up to catch mine up. And then my husband has to take a take a back seat for a second because like here I am. I'm like, okay. And I'm the one that had the good credit. You know, I had one thing to work on and my husband had about 50 million. So that's what we were working on. We took all this time to work on it. And now here at the finish line, here we are. And part of it is intercession because I, a while back, I think I might've even post talked about it. Um, I had a dream or a revelation <laughs> that led me to my current landlord okay and my findings to really look into it was that he's a a very well-known person in the real estate flipping houses community whatever and I had no idea when I mean, we've been in this house for now six years and I had no idea who this guy was I was just thought he was my landlord <laughs> you know I never really pursued it but the Lord put it on my heart to really look into it and that was, I think, the original route we were supposed to take in the first place. Before finding these realtors and everything else, we're all after the fact. So, I think he was all, I would, we were always supposed to go to him like, hey, this is what we need. Can you find it? I'm sorry, guys. You already know the drill. I start yawning when I start reporting. I just, I don't know why I have been fine. Um, but anyway, so we were always kind of supposed to go to him but I didn't really know how to go about it in six years my husband's always dealt with him so I've never spoke to him I I I just always let him handle it if we're gonna have an issue if we need something fixed whatever my husband deals with it so I was like okay so as I started following his social media and stuff I really started to see that he might actually be a decent person <laughs> And like I said, we've never had any problems or anything with him. So, I mean, I never thought that he wasn't a decent person, you know. But it's one of those, like, okay. Like, he might actually be a really good guy. And if the Lord is pointing me in his direction, then there must be for a reason. So, 
we, I was, I'm off tomorrow because I work this weekend. So I was like, let's, um, reach out and see what he's doing because right now we're not in a position where I'm going to prequal, we're going to prequalify for anything. Um, and I, I want to go starting now. So I told my husband, I was like, let's reach out to him and let's have a conversation all together. And see if he can find us something, you know, even if we did it as a right, you already know our rental history. He already knows that we will do what we got to do. We're decent tenants. Like, that's it. We just need something bigger. So I guess that might be our blessing in disguise. Because every time I'm like, okay, well, I just ignore this factor. That realtor gets sick or something. So I even found another one, okay? I was like, we were just out and about looking at open houses on a couple Saturdays ago. And I was like... Just me and my husband just got in the car and I was like, let's go to this one. Let's go to this one. You know, if it was in the vicinity, we went there. And so we did. And then something told me to look at the house that I've been looking at. Because that's the one I haven't been able to see. And I hope you can still hear me. I have to put this thing down. Um, I hope, I was like, I let's go see if he will, if we could go see this house. I'm sorry. And. So I went on Zillow and, you know, it kept saying available times, available times. And the first time I've currently been through like three realtors at this point in time, because the first one I've been dealing with for like the last two years or so, and we had to work on our credit for them. So I left her alone because she was giving me some outrageous stuff and she wouldn't even like see anything and all this other stuff. I'm starting to learn how this works. I understand how the real estate they want you to have your prequal before we waste our time and blah, blah, blah. I understand that. But I'm also a visual person. I need to see what it is that I'm working towards. I'm not just trying to sit around and be looking at pictures all day long and be like, okay, well, let's see, maybe I can save my money. And, and no, like if this is what I'm working towards, this is what I'm working towards. I'm not going to get my hopes up because I understand that I'm not at that point yet, but I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it because, but Either way, either which way, they, they, they don't know me from Adam, so that's fine. I, um, but I was like, let's go see a couple places, and I messaged them through, like, the Zillow app, and she was like, well, we don't really want people to move out, to clean up and everything for people that aren't serious about buying, but I was serious about buying, I get it, so I was like, whatever, so I never, I never asked to see anything else ever again, and I, I basically stopped talking to her. Um, so then I set up a, so when I, I'm sorry. So on that Saturday, when we were going around the house that I wanted to look at, I, um, I was, I messaged through the Zillow app and I was like, Oh God, here we go. We're going to have another one of those situations. And so I got confirmation back and they had an available time because I tried to start this process three times and I chickened out all three times and then I was finally like, you know what, just do it. Let's see if we can get it, get it seen. So the realtor called me right away and she was like, let's see what I could do. Let me see if they're available. If not, we'll try to do it on Sunday morning. And I was like, okay, no problem. So she called me back and she was like, absolutely, it's available and we can go see it. And so I was like, okay, great. And we went to go see it. And the house is amazing. It's not completely finished. I don't even care about that. The house is livable itself. But there's like a guest house, a pool, the everything. It's all, it's, it's wonderful. I freaking love the house. And so now we're starting the process with her, right? So I set up two meetings. She was like, I'd love to be your realtor, blah, blah, blah. Here's my guy. And I'm like, oh God, here we go. Because originally we were going to do the prequel starting today or tomorrow that was my appointment for that. So I was like, okay, yeah, that's, that'll be great. We're going to do that this week. And I, I love this house. Um, so she set up a meeting with me for last Friday. After last Friday, um, she messaged me and she was like, I am so sick. Can we reschedule? I was like, deja vu from my last realtor. I was like, yeah, sure. Uh, I was like, yeah, sure, no problem. You know, I already had something to do anyway, so it didn't really bother me. So that was Friday. So then she was like, can we reschedule for Saturday at 11? And I was like, sure. So Saturday at like 9.45 comes, she's like, I'm in, I'm in urgent care and I have the flu. She was like, is it any way that we can reschedule again?
and she was like, I'm sorry, I have to cancel. And I was like, mm. I was like, yeah, sure, no problem. We haven't rescheduled. She just sent me the stuff that we were supposed to talk about, because in, in hopes that I was doing my prequal today or tomorrow. But I'm like, Lord, what is it that you're trying to tell me by this, though? Because these don't just happen coincidentally, because it was really just put on my heart, like, okay, well, now this is, like, almost three people, I'm having all these roadblocks, why haven't you messaged your landlord? You know, you're trying to go through all this and all that, and I'm like, alright, so today we finally did that, we messaged the landlord, and I'm, I'm heart sick over the house, because I really do like this house, and there's not really people bidding over it, there's not really any offers or anything like that, I love the house, but... I don't necessarily know that this is my house <laughs> because that I'm just hoping that that means my landlord can find us something even better of more what I want but I mean this house pretty much is right there on top but either way you know what whatever God's will is for us is what will shall be so that's what we're doing we messaged him today and he was like absolutely we can have a chat tomorrow anytime no worries he's a very very nice man and we leave it at that so that's where we are in the process and we'll see how it goes have I told them that I'm not going to go for the prequel no I might send an email tomorrow like hey we're gonna hold off for a little bit longer because I mean we never know what happens but we'll see after our conversation tomorrow in what direction we should be going and I'll have a little bit more clarity I'll have more time you know to actually sit down and deal with it but has it been stressful? Yes. Am I trying not to worry? Absolutely. But there's only so much that we can do because I really am at the point where we are miserable in this house. And I, every time I'm uncomfortable, that's when the Lord makes a move. You know, when I just get so uncomfortable. And I have to remind myself not to get so upset, especially when I'm not being obedient in the matter. Because he has been drumming this landlord business into my brain for a hot minute. And I'm just like, oh no, it's fine. We're going to figure this out this way. And, but my way is not working. And my way is not going to work because it's not in his will. So I really have to take a step back and just be out of it, you know? I'm not, this isn't my show. I have no control over this. So I'm just going to let it be. And we'll go from there. So I will keep you guys posted. Sorry, it's, I've been gone for so long. Please like and subscribe to keep up with our journey. And I love you bunches. Bye.